If there's one thing that Tesla CEO Elon Musk doesn't like, other than the media, the SEC and Wall Street shorts, it's having his time wasted. And who could blame him with his brain constantly on the go, something he's detailed very much in depth, very candidly, and lots of things to do. I guess Musk wants the same thing as most of us, to make use of his time as effectively as possible. So when LA's notorious traffic problems finally got to Musk in 2016, he started a tunneling company the boring company, and sought out to revolutionise the way we dig tunnels into the earth the same way he's sought to get people off fossil fuels and onto clean, renewable energy and transportation. Since then, we've been kept up to date with Musk's plans for the boring company through a series of tweets, Instagram posts and artist renderings of what we can expect. He's even taken part on talks on the subject, carefully differentiating the boring company's tunnels to Musk's earlier Hyperloop concept, which is supposedly on its way to commercial reality. Originally, he'd described the tunnel business as a hobby that started as a joke, but these days, it's getting some serious attention. In fact, the boring company has been refining its tunnel boring machine technology for the past two years, tweaking existing tunnel boring machines, TBMs, to make them faster and more efficient. Its second generation machine can even place the concrete tunnel walls while it's boring, something that previously wasn't possible. The boring company's machines are also powered by electricity, not diesel, which makes them far more powerful and more efficient. It's built test tunnels and figured out how to make bricks it can sell out of the very rock its machines are boring through. And it's sold baseball caps and flamethrowers, among other things, partly for money, partly for media love, and I'm guessing partly because Musk He's really a freakishly smart nerd who likes to build and make things because they're cool, and he happens to have the money and drive to make it happen. Fairly recently, the first one-mile-long test tunnel under Los Angeles was completed, passing from the Hawthorne lot that's home to SpaceX to a specially constructed lift shaft a mile and a bit away. That lift, designed to accommodate one single car, is the gateway between the tunnel and the world above it. And, says Musk, it costs the company around $10 million to build, not including R&D. That's far, far cheaper than the estimated $300 million per mile cost of building the Silver Metro Line in Washington, D.C. Last night, it was officially opened, as best you can open a privately owned and operated test tunnel, with a small invite-only crowd in attendance of around 500. The event was live-streamed online, with Musk emerging, fashionably late, in a specially modified Tesla Model X at one end of the tunnel to cheer from the crowd. And then Musk gave a presentation detailing what the boring company is doing and how it's going to make the world a better place. During the live stream, Musk gave a lot of detail in the short streamed presentation he gave, including the boring company's goals to offer three different tunnel types, a twin tunnel loop transit system, a conduit tunnel, and a water tunnel. Tunnels are 14 feet in diameter, smaller than your standard metro tunnel, which, says Musk, increases the speed at which they can be bored. In explaining the move to subterranean travel, Musk explained that there's no theoretical limit to the number of tunnels that can be bored under the Earth, because instead of dealing with building transits on one plane, as is the case with 2D transit above ground, you can make a 3D transit system with multiple tunnels on top of one another. He also stated that tunnels are safer than flying cars because there's no risk of things falling from the air, and reiterated that tunnels have been proven to be some of the safest places to be in the event of an earthquake. As with Musk's other companies, there's continual refinement at the boring company, which means that not only the way the tunnels are bored, but also the services are also being tweaked. Originally, Musk had talked about autonomous, all-electric skateboards onto which people would drive cars at surface level and then have the skateboard and car lower into the tunnel. Those skateboards would then zip the car and its occupants to wherever they wanted to go, handling any directional changes and switchovers at blisteringly fast speeds. Speeds upwards, that is, of 150 miles per hour. There were plans, too, for a passenger pod operating in a similar way but offering pedestrians and cyclists a way to get where they wanted to be without needing to stop at a dozen other places along the way. In the boring company's world, its tunnels became expressways for transportation, allowing you to travel super fast to wherever you wanted to go. But last night, we saw something completely different. There were no autonomous pods, only a Tesla Model X fitted with guide wheels. While the vehicle displayed last night seemed to have fixed guide wheels, very similar to the guide wheels I've seen on buses that travel along specially designed bus expressways in parts of Europe, 
The end goal is to sell retractable wheels that can be fitted to any electric autonomous car for a cost of around two to three hundred dollars. Musk said that autonomous technology means that instead of a standard road where there's a car passing every two seconds or so in optimum conditions at far slower speeds than the tunnel promises, autonomous car technology makes it possible to shorten that gap to one second, increasing throughput and allowing the network to have sustained speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. With the city of Chicago already choosing the boring company to build a tunnel to link O'Hare and downtown, a project signed up to relieve congestion in the greater Washington DC area, and a short tunnel planned in LA between existing transit and the Dodgers stadium, the boring company certainly seems to be heading in the right direction to making Musk's dream a reality. But for those 150 miles per hour transits, well, while test rides were given, a few journalists got a ride and a bunch of Tesla referral program high hitters, Tesla faithful bloggers, celebrities and influencers got to play too. The general consensus seems to be that the ride was fun, a little like Disney, but pretty shaky, thanks to uneven tunnel walls. Musk says future tunnels will solve that problem with smooth walls and we'll see a high speed demo shortly, but only time will tell as to how fast cars will actually be able to travel through these tunnels. Given that your average traffic speed in New York City is just 7.5 Four miles per hour and it's 9.9 .9 miles per hour in LA, traveling at even just 35 miles per hour underground already seems a heck of a lot faster. That's it. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.